Hey, welcome back to another After Effects quick tip. So today I'm gonna to show you how to work in multiple views or compositions at the same time. So I have this logo sting animation from another tutorial I did. If you wanna learn how to animate this, uh, check it out on the channel. So I've got this logo animation on a separate layer in a pre-comp, a composition. If I click on this layer, you can see it here. So I've got the scaling animation and I've got the effects, the light glow and the sheen that goes over it. What I want to do is I would like to be able to see and edit the colors and update things while seeing it in the main comp. And we can do this with new viewers inside of Adobe After Effects. It's very simple. We go to our workspace, right click, go new viewer, and we get two copies of our animation. At the moment, it's the same comp. So over here, you've got the symbol of the lock and you've got your main comp, so it tells us where we are in our composition. So we're the main comp and the main comp. Now this lock, it locks it to the view. So at the moment, it's showing it as both of the main animation. Now if I double click and go into our pre-comp, watch what happens, because this one has the lock symbol and this one doesn't. If I double click, this one goes inside our pre-composition of my layered animation for the uh, for the logo animation. So if I scrub the timeline, you can see all the elements and you can see the cameras and all the different layers here, but you can still see my main final composition with the effects because it's locked over here. And what you can do is you can lock this one just to be safe if you would like as well. And now you will only ever see these two views. So from here, we can easily update this comp while seeing it in here. So let's try this. I wanna change the color of this main graphic here. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna to go to the effects uh, panel. I'm going to type in fill and I'm going to drag a fill effect on there. You can do it on the actual layer or on the actual graphic. And there you go. We've filled it with the color. Let's, and you can see it update here automatically. And I'm going to say choose, um, I don't know, like a green or something to see what that would look like. I'm going to click OK. And there you go, and it updates. And now if I scrub the timeline, you'll see it scrub here, but also update here. And now I can go back to the main composition by clicking here, and I can now scrub the timeline and it will scrub the new color. So there you go, that's how easy it is to be able to work in multiple views at once. And now I can just go back to this composition to make further changes, just click on it here, and I can say, okay, I like that. I want to be able to add a fill effect to this one as well. And then we'll add, you know, you see automatically see update over here and you can just change the timeline to see, just to check, is it looking good? Obviously these colors are pretty horrible now, um, but you get the idea. Very quick, very simple to do. And you can actually take it even further. You can right click again, new viewer, and you've added another viewer. And now I could say, I could drag this to the bottom of here, dock it, and now we've got three. We've got three different comps, and this can be whatever you want. So these two are locked, and this one is not. Now for something a little more advanced, I'm going to use this to sh actually show you different cameras within different comps. Now this is really useful. I wanna be able to view the 3D layers from a different camera while working in the comp. So if I go over to this comp here, it's unlocked at the moment. I'm gonna open up the logo and in pre-comp so it's the same, but I'm now going to change the camera from active camera to top. Now, if I move this over, you can move this over and, and rearrange this. Watch what happens now. I'm actually viewing from the top camera. I can actually see my layers. I can see these animating in, th in 3D space. So I can zoom in here and I can actually change things. They update here and update in the main comp. So I'm updating two at the same time. Now this is where it gets really powerful. You can change your animation. Um, you can see everything update in one go. I can zoom in. I could say, okay, let's try selecting this layer here. This is this one here. And I can now say, go from the top. I can go to a left view and we zoom out. And now I can, you can see all the parts floating in 3D space. This is how the, the, the animation works, going back in, in 3D space like this. There you go. Now you can see how powerful new viewers can be and you can build them up and work in as many as you want, as many as your computer or your desktop space allows. Now I hope that was really useful. 
um, you can see how powerful it is and it's so good to be able to update one comp and see it update in another. Now, if you got value out of this, if you could give it a like, subscribe for more free tutorials coming every month, short ones and longer form, and I'll see you next time.